So welcome along to the 20th and final race of round two for BNL 2024. It's the senior road tax final. Let's take you through a packed 35 strong field. Bolowet and Jaden Teen are on the front row. Macaulay Bishop, the winner in the superheat, starts from the inside of row two. He'll be joined by Mateo Denkovic. Vic Stevens, Kai Hunter, Thomas Behrman, Archie Buttle, Lawrence Herbos, Oli Yonkers, they complete the top ten. Svedi Uben, Danny Shields, Julian Klausman, Jot van Vyck, Armand Hamilton, Sebastian Koch, Freddie Ingram, Luca Prima, Gustav Uzakovs and Bram Plomp round out the top 20. Completing the 35-strong grid, Sam Bergstein, Lado Kuhanitze, Christopher Holtz, Tom Longnoir, Martin Gaiskins, Ralph van der Pavertz, Scott Westhovens, Alex Duncan, David Outlaysner, Giorgio Markenstein, Puck Gubbles, William Nordbeck, Mika van der Pavert, Dante Sima, and Rain van der Meer round out the grid. Try and pick a winner from this one. I certainly cannot. I know I'm not even going to attempt to try and do so. But 14 minutes on the timer, plus an additional lap. The drivers head up the hill towards the start finish line here at Karting de Fang. Senior road tax final. Revs rise. Lights are on. Lights are out. Are we? Yes, I think we are. We are tight. We're ticking down. So the lights have gone out and there's a frantic moment and a big incident. Big incident on the outside of the entrance into turn number two. And two already out of the running. Oh, dramas on the opening lap. I was waiting very, very quickly to see what would happen. And at the moment, it's Macaulay Bishop leading. Jaden Teen in P2. Who's in third? I think it's Matera Radankovic. So I think Bolowet might have been one of the casualties. The man on pole position. It ripped, being ripped out of his hands. The leaders now come round in towards the final corner on the opening lap. Drama strikes at the, mo at the most crucial moment of this race. Bishop leads. Jaden Teen in second. Bolowet, Mateo Radankovic, and Kai Hunter. They all got involved. They all were all involved. Radankovic and Lewet, they were on the inside. They were on the inside row. Kai Hunter's all the way down in 29th. And Macaulay Bishop is profiting from it, but he's got someone right behind him. That's Mateo Radankovic, who's just got through on Jaden Teen for P2. And now. The KR Sport duo of Thomas Behrman and Archie Buttle are now firmly in the mix. This race has been turned upside down and on its head quicker than a sand timer. And what a drama. Bolowet on his first pole position in a final in his short senior Rotax career. And on lap one, turn two, it gets ripped away. And now it's really heating up. 
Jaden Teen looking for the move. Mounts the curbs on the inside of turn number two. Trying to go for the move on. Matera Dankovic. And he's got to be very, very careful. Because right behind him is Thomas Behrman. Youngster from Chelmsford. And then also Archie Buttle. Now you add to that train and it's expanding. Danny Shields from the UAE is with them. So we've lost four drivers. Bolowet, Matej Radankovic, Freddie Ingram and Lado Kouanidze out of the race. We're down to 31 runners and riders. And now Jaden Teen goes defensive on Thomas Behrman through into turn one here on lap four. And there's been further dramas. Bram Plomp and Scott Westhovens have tumbled down the order to 28th and 29th respectively. As Jaden Teen has lost out to Thomas Behrman, who's through. Behrman through for third. Bishop at the moment just trying to control proceedings. Make the race run his way, not anybody else's. Kai Hunter's now recovered up to 24th position, but unfortunately might have been a passenger in that incident. So it's Vic Stevens that is currently P2. My apologies for that at the moment. It's just been, I haven't seen that in a long time. A first lap incident at turn number two, where it actually caught out the people that started first. And what's more, uh, Radenkovic started fourth. A real shame for the two young Belgians who've moved up to seniors this year. And there are the two carts stricken by the side of the entrance into turn two. But both drivers are out of the carts and they are safe and okay. So Bishop leads, Stevens in second, Behrman third, Thien, Buttle, Uben, Yonkers. Shields now up four places and now is moving forward. He's currently in eighth and going after Oli Yonkers, who's just in front of him. Lawrence Herbos and Jot van Vijk round out the top ten. Drivers making moves up the order. Sam Bergstein, nice new livery by the way, Sam. I was going to mention that earlier on when I might have had a chance to speak to him, but he, I, I don't think uh, either, well, I looked at him, his eyes didn't catch mine and we didn't, uh, didn't exchange pleasantries this morning as if to say, good morning, how are you? So, 31 drivers still running. Nine minutes and 12 seconds plus an additional lap remain in this senior road tax final. Jaden Teen all went for the move. And it was, I think it was a little bit mistimed there from Jaden. He thought he'd had the opportunity to try and get through on the inside of Thomas Behrman. As Ferdi Uben now giving Archie Buttle the hurry up on the run through turn five. Into six here at Shamanda Fair. Top eight rounded out by Danny Shields. 1.8 seconds apart. Bishop still leads after six laps. He leads by nearly four tenths of a second. Fastest lap of the race so far is in the hands of Kai Hunter, who's now moved up to 21st. I've seen recovery drives from Kai and also elder brother Reese, and now being as they are reunited, not under the Dan Holland Racing banner, who have they've been loyal stalwarts to for many, many a year. They've won success after success with Dan Holland himself. And for Hunter Motorsports, they now delve into Europe after initially doing a foray into the United Kingdom, testing the water, and now bringing a few drivers of their own over to continental Europe. And it's a nice little addition to the paddock. David Outleishner, the pride of Wales and Poland, now up nine places. Scott Westhovens looks to be the driver that's going to take us down to 30 that are still running. Westhovens not making it out through out of sector number three. Might have just parked it if there was a technical issue. Now at halfway through this final race, 
of the weekend and a bit of bunching up there going through into turn number five. Uh, one of the DHR carts, I think, got a little bit caught out maybe. I'm not sure who it was, but it was definitely in the mid-pack at that time. But Macaulay Bishop is starting to extend the lead. Last time it was nearly six tenths of a second. Six and a half minutes to go. Still all to play for. Plus that additional lap. Everyone getting their heads down. Seven and a half tenths is the lead now after seven, eight laps. And uh, Bishop, his be he's the one with the fastest lap at the moment. And he's just done a 55.371. 16,000 slower than his faster la fastest lap time of the race so far, a 55.357. But the battle for the final two steps on the rostrum, very, very crucial indeed. Five drivers rounding out the top 20. Tom Longois up eight places from 24th on the grid. Ralph van der Parvet up nine places from 26th on the grid and is now 17th. Luca Brima, Christopher Holst and Kai Hunter. Christopher Holst has made up four positions from 23rd. One of the uh, youngest drivers on the grid, as I said earlier on today. Had a nice chat with his dad. So Christopher wanting to test himself one of the youngest drivers 14 years of age uh, young driver there uh, Luca Prima now drops a couple of places and has now ended up running out the top 20 in the meantime so Hunter and Holster through but the way things are being controlled by Macaulay Bishop it is absolutely textbook managed to get the lead early Within the first two to three laps of the race. There is Archie Buttle, who now finds himself behind Svedek Uben, who's up into P5. Jaden Team, not too far behind Thomas Behrman in the 352. As Buttle up the inside retakes the position. Oh, that's an opportunistic move, Oli Yonkers. N well played. Well played by the 316 from Dams Racing. So Svedit Uben gets mugged by Archie Buttle through the final right-hander and Yonkers, like a thief in the middle of the night. Thierry de Jong, you'll remember that line a few, from a few years ago at Karting Genk. But it wasn't on the last corner last lap, was it? Yeah, but Oliver Yonkers just, Oli Yonkers just timed that to perfection. I know for a fact his dad Davies probably thinking, God, that was a great move, boy. Well done. And now he's going to try and get through on Buttle. But look, the Constantina effect happens. And Yonkers goes grass mowing, coming out of turn seven. And Julian Klosman narrowly, narrowly avoids going into the piff path chicane. Oh, it's a bit too much shoving there, I think, possibly. Maybe had a little bit of an assist from Svedek Uben, who was right behind uh, the 3-1-6. And then there goes York van Vyk. And then, oh, Sam Bergstein. Sam Bergstein, I think, did he get the pair of them? I think he did. Let's have a look. Yes, he got past Jonkers and Van Vyck at the final right-hander. Nice work there by Sam. Uh, family runs a, a, a dealer group as well. If I, well, they, they run, a, a, I think it is a, a dealer group, if I remember correctly. Uh, Opal dealership, if, if memory serves me correctly. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, located in uh, Bergen Tel uh, Tel Be uh, Be Well, it's, it's basically an Opal specialist uh, based in the Nether Netherlands. I'm not going to even try and pronounce that name. Uh, probably, I nearly got myself uh, tongue-tied on that one. And it's not too far outside of Valkenburg and Maastricht. But here goes Svedek Uben up the inside through on Archie Bustle. That's a change for, fi for fifth place. And Buttle trying to get the switch back here through into turn number two. But they've got a very fast closing. Lawrence Herbowles. Meantime, Macaulay Bishop has a lead of nearly 1.1 seconds over Vic Stevens. Jaden Team rounds out the top three, closely followed by Thomas Behrman. And with the sun beating down on the circuit here at Captain Defagne, it is a welcome way to see out the weekend sunshine great conditions for racing and what's more a very very busy circuit 
Two minutes remain as Bishop crosses the line to complete lap number 13. He's now 1.3 seconds ahead of Vic Stevens. Jaden Teen uh, continues to hold the final step on the roster and position in third. Thomas Behrman, that time around was fractionally quicker, but it's not enough to make an indent. So another lap in the books. And we literally have, I think, three to go. And Bishop is just continuing to expand that lead. It's now 1.363 seconds. So we have 30 drivers that are gonna take the checkered at this moment in time with 34 seconds on the clock. Once he hit the front end of the field, he hasn't looked back. It's going to be two to go. Lap 16 out of 17. And the timer hits zero. The final race of the second round of the season is coming, to its, coming up to its inevitable conclusion. Macaulay Bishop has not put a foot wrong since he took the lead early on in this race. The young man from Hoddesdon in Hertfordshire. Man with Dan Holland Racing is really gonna be very much celebrated after difficulties yesterday in the heats. Electrical issues, um, I understand from when I spoke to his mum Kitty earlier on, who is actually here in person. It's great to see her, has been a very, very long time since I managed to catch up with her and uh, also shook hands and wished Macaulay the very best of luck this morning. But last lap of the final and last lap of the weekend. McCauley Bishop, 1.388 kilometres, still to negotiate as the 367 from Hoddesdon makes his way into turn two for the final time. A 1.4 second advantage over drivers that he's been competing at and with uh, this weekend and have been at the sharp end of the field. What a drive it's been. Sometimes a weekend can start off very, very slowly, but you gather pace, you gather momentum, you gather confidence all the way through, and it comes to one moment that really defines how the weekend should have been all the way through. Sometimes to get there, to take one step forward, you take two steps back. But in this case, it's going to be a giant leap forward for Hoddesdon's very own Macaulay Bishop. Bishop wins! Bishop wins here in Marienburg in the Senior Otax final and was hardly challenged. 1.39 seconds was the winning margin for Hoddesdon's Macaulay Bishop and Rye House Kart Raceway. If you're watching, your boy's done a blinder this afternoon. Vic Stevens and Jaden Teen round out the top three. Thomas Behrman, one step away, 0.23 of a second, and away from a podium in seniors in Europe. Svedek Urban, Archie Buttle, Lawrence Herbols, Julian Klosman, Danny Shields, and Sam Bergstein round out the top 10. Oli Jonkers, Jort van Vyck, Armand Hamilton, Sebastian Koch, Kai Hunter recovers to finish 15th. Ralph van der Pavard up 10 places to finish 16th, ahead of Tom Longlois. Christopher Holst, Gustav Zuzakovs, Luca Bremer, David Outleishner, Giorgio Markenstein, Martin Gaiskins, William Norbeck, Mika van der Pavard, Dante Sima, Alex Duncan, Bram Plomp, 
Park Gubbles and Rain Vandermeer ran out the top 30. We lost Scott Westhovens on lap five and on the opening lap we lost Boloet, the pole sitter, Matera Rodankovic, Freddie Ingram and Lado Kuhenice. But what a way to finish the weekend. Bishop, brilliant here in southern Belgium in the senior Rotax final, concluding round two of the 2024 BNL Karting Series season.